Hi friends, what's on my mind today? I was thinking just a minute ago that uh, I haven't seen any scorpions this summer. Uh, we've been here since the end of March, beginning of April. Usually see at least one a month in the house. And uh, if I go blacklighting with my little blacklight flashlight out here by a wall, but I did that the other night and I didn't see any. I was going to make a video about it, of course, because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> but uh, it's curious to me. I haven't seen a scorpion, not a single one, since we got back uh, this spring. Uh, not complaining, just saying. Uh, what else on my mind? Oh, Lynn and I had our wedding anniversary our anniversary is on september 11th so 9 11 has meant something to us for a lot longer than the rest of the world thinks about 9 11 in a different way uh, so far we're just still thinking 9 11 is a good thing <laughs> compared to the rest of the world which thought it was a bad thing uh, back up that's not something to be funny about anyway it's our 49th now we lived together for three years before we got married because i spent three years begging her to marry me and she kept saying no so after three years she finally gave in and married me now it's kind of a tradition to have a big deal at uh, your 50th wedding anniversary. And she wants to count some of those years we lived together before we got married, but I'm not letting that happen. This is the 49th year we've been legally married. And um, I'm not letting her count those other years. It's giving me one more year to not have to pay for any big celebration for our 50th. <laughs> And I'm not letting her count it because she kept saying no for three years. Lucky for me, she finally said yes. Well, I got excited about eating my salad because it looked so good and I forgot to take a picture of it. But this is a 60 peso salad at the Blue Rose. Bailey's Frangelica. 105 pesos. Chicken parmesan? Yes. How's that look? That looks good. And I have filet, mashed potatoes, veggies. Oh, yours was uh, 210? Mine is uh, 310. Melt in your mouth tender. Great flavor. The filet at the Blue Rose. Chocolate mousse cake with ice cream and blueberry sauce. What else? Oh, I'm going to go this afternoon and I'm uh, going up back up the hill to where you saw a video that uh, Sergio was building a house and his neighbor Rico is renovating a house uh, down on the other end of the block. So Rico's invited me to come up and see how he's doing. I'm not sure he's made much progress. I, I was up there a year ago. But we'll go see what's going on. So let's go up the hill and see Rico. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Well, I have another construction project for you today. This isn't brand new construction, this is remodeling. And uh, we're gonna go and meet the owner and the architect here in a second. He's got quite the project going on. Rico! Hey, Jerry. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thanks. I saw you a couple of weeks, three weeks ago when we were doing Sergio's house down the street. That's right. Yeah. yeah. 
And you are? Alan. Alan. And you are the architect? the architect? We are Archeau Studio. Excuse me? Archeau Studio. That's the name of the... Uh, oh, oh, I thought you were studio. talking to me in Spanish and I didn't understand you. And you were, because <laughs> you you named the company as something in Spanish. <laughs> Más despacio, por favor. <laughs> we are a constructor um, company. Uh-huh. Petit, but yeah. we're starting... Okay, um, good. That's the name. Petit, but it's going to grow into a big company. Well, with your money? In the near future. Huh? Only a, only petit of my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I was here a year ago, and you had plans. Uh, you had just bought it, I think. I had just bought it. And it was pretty much empty. Mm -hmm. And now I understand you have a lot of stuff stored that's going to be incorporated into the project. It is. Very. It's, yeah. Quite a bit. You'll see it as we come through. Well, let's, some materials are getting ready to be put up. Well, let's go see what's going on. Let's I'll go. follow you. So we'll, I, I guess we'll just go really quickly on, on, the, on the first story, and then we'll go on where the action is happening. Okay. Yeah, because you're doing most of it upstairs, right? This, yes, and then next at, week we'll start this, on this side, yeah. This phase? Right. Yeah. And then we'll come down to this, this, this floor. Oh, yeah, you moved everything in the house into this room. Right? Yep. Yeah. Because last time I was here, you, you didn't have a king size bed in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. You got to always have a king size bed, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, in this bathroom, you were going to redo this, but we were talking about this last year. So, what are you going to do with the bathroom now? So, this bathroom is going to get blown, blown up. So, this is going to go away and it's yeah? going to push. Yeah. Because the stairway was here. Right. Oh, gonna you're going to incorporate go. the space of the stairs into the bathroom to make it bigger? To make it functional, yeah. Well, functional isn't a matter of space. <laughs> That's a matter of your <laughs> diet. That's true. <laughs> I can manage this bathroom because I can... I can you can through. navigate I through. Can, can yeah. Totally do it, yeah. Oh, well, that's a good idea. So then what about this? Well, you're still going to have to go upstairs. How are you getting rid of the staircase? This will be a one-bedroom unit. Oh, oh. It'll be a one-bedroom apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. And for rent. And for rent. Yeah. And we will actually, the entryway would be here. Oh, you're really doing construction. Yeah. Wow. So the front of the property, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change, right, Alan? Yeah. So hmm. the design is going to be a little bit different. We'll have the entryway here, and then we'll, we'll have a uh, dining room. Dining, dining, and then this will be the little living room. Living and room. an entry here. And I think we're going to do some stairs on the front and a sidewalk. So okay. is this your idea, or is it uh, Alan, the architect's I think idea? It's a, I, think every, I, I think it's an idea as a group. Yeah? Everybody's yeah, like pitched in a little bit, I think. Right? Yes. So. We'll see what you got going. Let's idea, see what you got going upstairs. <laughs> we listen to people's idea, and then we put it together to make things better. Tell me a little bit as you're walking along, Rico, about you. About me? Yeah, I think if I remember from a year ago, you're from California. I am from California. <laughs> oh, did I lock us I... out? No. I... Oh, I you have, have a key. key. Oh, of course you do. Well, this is different. That, 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 wait, wait a minute, that part wasn't there. Oh, no, there was a, wasn't there a mural here? There was a mural where the bathroom is. Mural. There is a, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, this actually is going to get blown out. It's going to be removed because it covers the view of the right of the bathroom. And so they, they, they're going to work all of that in. And I think Alan's idea was to get rid of these stairs. Yeah. To give it privacy for each of the units. Right. So this, this, this would be now your second unit. Well, we're getting up to a little better view. So you got washer and dryer room. Yeah. Okay. So this will be gone. We will have a little bit. This will be the entry. So the actual living room, dining, and then kitchen. And that's Camila. Camila was on your video last time. Oh, year. that's right. Yeah, Camila was on the video. You always have to have a little dog content. Yeah, so just be careful here. Okay. So, we so this is going to be your master suite. View. So that's going to be a master suite here. This is your master. Then you'll go into here, and then you'll have a 
let me cover you up. <laughs> I don't want to get. Then that'll be your closet left and right. Oh, right. that's wet cement. Can I can yeah, I walk yeah. there? Yes. It's, no, it's just fresh. Oh. So what's this going to be, Alan? This is going to be uh, that's, walk-in closet. A that's wet closet. cement, right? Yeah, that's fresh. Is it uh, beyond? No, it's not. Uh, it's no, not I, don't, I don't need to go in there. Yeah. What's going to be in there? Um, walk-in closet. Yeah. Uh, there's two parts. One for him, one for her. Yeah. And that's the master bedroom. The master bathroom. Bath- bathroom. Yeah, it's going to be nice. nice. And then over here... <laughs> this is gonna be the um, like the distribution part for the uh, for the um, uh, public parts, mm-hmm. uh, the dinner dining room, mm-hmm. the living room, uh-huh. and the kitchen. Yeah. So you can you can come here to get into the bedrooms. So it's an entryway. It's an entryway. Yeah. Okay. And then this is another bedroom? That would be your guest bedroom. Uh-huh. Your guest bathroom. I mean, your guest bedroom and bathroom. Nice? Yeah. Are you going to cover this up here? It's all going to be interior space. All this. And these are all going to be windows all around. It's going to be all windows. All of this whole patio is going to be inside? It's all, yeah, that'll be your uh, living room. Dining, and then this will be the entry, and then this is going to be the, the carport is now going to be the kitchen. It'll be kitchen, and then here it'll be like a nice little uh, loft. You're going to put side. the kitchen above the garage. Uh-huh. Well, you got a lot of building to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then you're going to have a mirror door up above? We don't. Well, for right now, we need to finish because the light is coming. <laughs> yeah. But if, 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 if God willing and everything works out, yeah. that might be an option. Yeah. That yeah. might be an option. That would be nice. Yeah. Well, nice you know, when I was here a year ago, I in, you had some ideas about doing this, doing that. Yeah. It's changed. <laughs> It has changed a little bit. I was going to actually do three units. The, prod, uh, the, 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 the project has expanded. It expanded a little bit, yeah. 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 Expanded a lot. Uh, it was going to, this is actually midway, right? Yeah. We had a, a third story. Oh. And then I decided we were going to cut it short. We were going to get done, run yeah. it out, and then I get to go home because the wife said, it's been a year. You said three months. <laughs> well, I was, just, I was wondering if maybe the wife had part of the decision going here. <laughs> things, things change. Do you want me to edit For that out? <laughs> no. What's it's your okay. wife's name? Roxanne. Roxanne? Yeah. Say hi, Roxanne. Hey, Roxanne. <laughs> Thank you for letting him stay, Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Rico's got his work cut out for him up there on the hill. He's developing a duplex to rent out. And again, it's part of his retirement plan. Like my friend Sergio down the block, he's building a place to live on the top and rent out the bottom. And it's not a terrible retirement plan to make your money in California and then move to Mexico where the living expenses are lower. But people ask me, why didn't I ever invest in rental real estate in Mexico? Because I have a lot of rental real estate experience and uh, people who know about my experience and what I've owned in the past ask me all the time, why didn't you ever invest in rental real estate in Mexico? And the answer is very simple. You can't leverage your money. Now, most of you know exactly what I meant, but for those few of you who might not not understand about leveraging your money and why it's a good deal to invest in rental real estate, let me just give you some simple math. And let's say you're gonna buy a $100,000 property. Now, that's not happening uh, here on the North Shore of Lake Chapala and Ahihi because things cost more than that. But we'll do the $100,000 property just so you can keep the math simple and do it in your head. You pay $100,000 for a property, and over the course of a year, the first year, you make uh, $10,000 net after you pay the property taxes, which are very low in Mexico, and the maintenance can be very low in Mexico. 
and the utilities, if you have to pay some of those to get a good tenant, very low in Mexico, you need a maid, you need a gardener, whatever. Expenses are very low. You can net out 10,000 off of 100,000 in um, Mexico uh, in a year. So that's a $10,000 profit. And then the properties uh, appreciate. So let's say it goes up 10% also, and uh, that's another $10,000 in your bank, your property bank. So 10 in cash flow, 10 in appreciation, that's $20,000 you made on a $100,000 investment the first year. Well, uh, that's 20%. That's a pretty good return on your money. Um, it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not passive income because you're managing it. Okay. But let's, uh, contrast that with, um, investing in the United States like I did. So it takes the same hundred thousand dollar property and I would put down $10,000 and get a mortgage. Now I don't get the cash flow. I'm not going to make the $10,000 worth of cash flow in a year because uh, I've got a mortgage. But the tenants pay the mortgage so that uh, you work that out so the math is a wash. Expenses plus the mortgage and uh, you also get to depreciate it so you save a little on your taxes. But uh, no gain there. But the property still appreciates so let's say it went up $10,000 just uh, like the other example. So you've made $10,000 in a year instead of $20,000 in a year. However, that $10,000 in the United States, you've made on a $10,000 investment. So it's not a 20% return on your investment. It's a 100% return on your investment. Leveraging your money. That's why I never invested in rental real estate in Mexico, because you have to pay cash for the whole property. Now, just for <laughs> those of you who've watched me for a long time and always ask me, what did I used to do? Uh, rental real estate was one of the things I used to do. But I, uh, I actually went up that formula just a little bit. So I went out and found properties um, and one of the properties we had was a million dollar property. So, um, now that's 20 years ago. So today it's a lot more than a million dollar property, but, um, I went and found a, a, a partner to invest with me, a partner who had cash. And I didn't do that because I was smart. I did that because I didn't have any. <laughs> so I went and found a partner. I actually worked with three different partners, but this one partner, I went and said, okay, so uh, if we do this and we'll get this kind of return, and I talked him into investing with his money. So he made the down payment, and we paid him interest out of the cash flow from the rent on his investment, his down payment. And then we split the balance of the cash flow. And it wasn't much. He got most of the money because he was getting paid interest on his down payment. And I got very little, but I'm managing the property and putting in a little bit of, you know, maintenance work. But after a couple of years, it's, uh, we've raised the rents, the cash flow is a little better, we can hire a property manager. Now, at that point, I don't have to manage the property and I don't have to work with the maintenance and the rents are covering not only the mortgage, the rents are also covering um, the, the maintenance and the management. And for me, it becomes totally passive income. And what's my investment? Zero. What's my rate of return? Infinite. And when we sell the property, we split the, the appreciation, which was a lot of money, <laughs> enough money to buy this house I live in, as a matter of fact. So again, I leveraged zero money as a capital investment, and I managed some little bit of my time to figure this out. 
Can't do that in Mexico either. That's why I don't own rental real estate in Mexico. If I wanted to get back into owning rental real estate, I'd do it in the United States. And people will say, well, then you're an absentee owner. Well, if you're from California and you're building a duplex here to manage, you're an absentee owner anyway. Okay, enough about that. I didn't mean to start giving you a lesson in <coughs> retiring because you invested in rental real estate. But uh, if you're in your 30s, 40s, or even your 50s, you should study this. Um, I started way back in my 20s when I went to a family reunion, and I asked all of the old guys there, who weren't as old as I am now. And they said, uh, what should I do? If I ever get an extra little bit of money, what should I do? Should I put it in the stock market? Should I do what? And w one old grandpa said, buy dirt. They ain't making any more of it. Uh, let's talk about Alan, the architect that we met up there at Rico's for a minute. Um, really nice guy. He has been the architect and his company um, is a contractor to build new construction or renovate houses. And both he and Sergio are using him and they're very happy with him. Um, so I was glad to meet him. And if you have any need for an architect or a construction company, uh, you ought to consider Alan. I don't know him that well, but I take Sergio's word for it and now Rico's word for they're happy with him and uh, how it's all working out. Uh, I'm putting here his contact information. I stopped putting contact information down in the uh, below in the description because if you watch this on TV, you can't see that. Hey. Thanks for being with me today. Like and subscribe. Going to the United States pretty soon. Not yet. Uh, Got to do a video for a dash cam, a 4K dash cam. Uh, they sent me. Um, bit of a story that goes with that one. I'll see you later. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.